Welcome back to the 6th Gear Garage. As I'm bringing my 1994 Toyota Land Cruiser back to its former glory, one thing that's always bugged me is the rust on these wiper arms. So, there's an easy way to fix something like that, and it's called electrolysis. So today, we'll learn how to use electrolysis to remove rust from metal parts. So here we have a battery charger, and I'll be using this on 12 volt. And I want to use the lowest amp there, go to 2 amp. And over here we have a bucket. You'll need some sort of container. So on the inside of the bucket, you'll see I have a few pieces of metal. This is called the sacrificial metal. And this is the metal that's going to be basically destroyed because all the rust is going to go from our wiper arms and then bond to this metal. So you can uh, use different stuff for this. A lot of people use rebar. But uh, this is what I had laying around. I got a piece of uh, sheet metal here and a couple just sort of metal rods from who knows what. And I have all these wired together. And these are all going to be attached to the positive. Now the negative from the charger will be connected to my metal that I want to restore. And to do that, a lot of people use uh, wood. You could use metal, but it's just easier to use wood because you don't want anything touching and shorting out here. And you're going to want to hang these somehow from the wood and then find a way to attach it. And I've got some metal wire here, band steel here and some chains and whatnot. I also have some wire that is not copper. If you use copper in this, they say it's going to create a mess. There's something that happens with science. And uh, basically the copper will leave the wire um, and enters the solution and create a mess. I have a little bit of copper right here, but I'm not going to put my bucket that high. There we go. So I've just got these twisted together with uh, some of my steel wire. And I have them suspended here on this piece of wood. I just noticed that this wire has a sort of black uh, coating of some sort on it. Um, the very end down there was bare, but once I unrolled it, I noticed that it is sort of painted on the outside. So that may not be very conductive. So I wrapped some uh, steel wire around here just to connect these two together because I only have one negative battery clamp and that's only gonna be able to fit on one of these wipers. But I'd like to do two at the same time since I have the space. This may take a while, so I'm not gonna do it here in the middle of the garage. I'm gonna move it over to the other side of the garage by a power outlet. There we go. Oh, and one more very important thing I didn't mention earlier is don't use stainless steel anywhere in this process. Using stainless steel and electrolysis will create chromium, and that's really bad. If you remember the movie Aaron Brockovich, chromium is uh, what gave all those people cancer. So don't use stainless steel and don't get cancer. So now I'm just getting some water to fill up my bucket. That'll be good. This way we'll get a good side-by-side -side comparison of where the rust was removed on the bottom versus where the rust still exists at the top. Now I just need to add the secret ingredient. Washing soda. Some people will tell you to use salt or baking soda, but I've done a lot of research and washing soda seems to be the way to go. And you can find this in the stores in the same place you find laundry detergent. And they say about half a cup is good for five gallons. And we'll stir it in, make sure it's all dissolved. The positive clamp will go to the sacrificial steel and negative on the wiper arm. Now that I'm all done touching this, plug it in. Now if everything was done correctly, I should start to see some bubbles appearing. Now this is a reaction which produces oxygen and hydrogen. And uh, both of those are flammable. So you want to do this in a well-ventilated area. And you also want that area to be free of any sparks or flames. Also, I recommend using a GFCI protected outlet just for some extra insurance. All right, so it's been almost an hour and I've only had a very little tiny bubbles coming up. And I went over here and I figured I'd try switching this to manual. And now, look at that bubbly. Yep, manual made all the difference. So don't try the automatic. 
I wasn't getting as many bubbles off of the uh, far one here in the back. So I got some alligator clips and I have them connected to the negative clamp and uh, just running them over to the farther back wiper and that seems to have not quite even with the bubbles but gotten a little bit closer to being on the same level. Okay it's been an hour since I got things cooking there by switching the battery charger over to manual and you can see all the crud and rust whatever floating on the top of the surface so things are definitely working now. All right, it's been an hour and a half since I switched over to manual and it's still sizzling. Look at all the grossness on the surface of the bucket. All right, I just unplugged it. Let's pull it out and have a look. I gave it a quick scrub with a brush and I don't see any visible rust, but they said two hours is usually the minimum. They said you can do this for days if you have something really rusty. So I'm gonna let it go for a while longer. Let's check out our sacrificial metal. Ooh, that's getting pretty nasty. The back is not really that bad, but the front has all kinds of crud and rust on it. All right, we'll let it keep going. Okay, it's been two more hours. Just unplugged it, and let's see what we got. Not too different than before, really. All right, it has been exactly another five hours and uh, it's still bubbling. Let's pull them out and take a look. Looks about how it did about five hours ago. And let's see what kind of rust we collected on the sacrificial steel. Nasty, it's even on the back now. So I think I'll uh, run these under some water and give them a little bit of a scrub and see how they look. So here is the before and here's the after. You can see there's actually a good solid line where you can see the before and after effect of the electrolysis. So um, yeah, I mean they're obviously pitted and that's just because the rust was so bad. Um, that's actually the original black paint that was on the wipers from the factory. This side looks really good and really smooth. It must have been the side that was facing down. A lot of times I'll use my uh, bench grinder here but there's some really tight areas that you just can't get into with something like a bench grinder. And that's where electrolysis comes in really great. Well, that worked. Let's try this guy. In you go. Oh yeah, we got bubbles within like 10 seconds this time. So this will be a good one. Okay, this has had about eight hours total and it's got the black coating on it, but there's also a little bit of a rust color left. So I'm not sure if that's gonna brush off or not. I'll take it out and see. After some scrubbing with the wire brush, this bracket looked as good as new. There were a couple areas with some very light pitting, but overall, this piece is ready for primer and paint. Mercedes wheel bolts, nice and rusty. Let's see if this works. They're all connected with the steel wire, just wrapped together. All right, here we go. Had to get creative with the zip tie on this one to uh get my uh, bolts to go down all the way in the water. Not much bubble action, so I tried cleaning off the sacrificial metal. We'll see if this makes any difference. Maybe a little bit better, but I did read somewhere that after a while, you need to add some more washing soda. So sprinkle some of this in there. Give it a stir. Well, either scraping off my sacrificial metal or adding some more washing soda seem to help because I'm getting more bubbles and I'm even getting some larger bubbles coming up. So things are happening. These bolts look much better after electrolysis. Simply wrapping them together in one piece of long steel wire worked perfect. Keep in mind, I still had to scrub each one with the wire brush after to get the black coating off, which was somewhat tedious, but that's just the last step of electrolysis. All right, I've got one more, and this is by far the rustiest of anything I've tried yet. I might actually brush this off a little bit first to get some of this scaling rust off before I throw it in the water. All right, got the uh, hoses off. This is actually the zinc plated finish to begin with. Brushed it up a little bit, 
Got the worst of the scaly rust off. We'll see how it cleans up. The fuel filler neck had heavy rust scaling to begin with. So considering that, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It still has slight pitting, but this isn't visible when installed. So I'd probably coat it with epoxy primer and call it a day. All right, it is time for electrolysis version 2.0. I uh, did the same as last time. I get my mixture here with the super washing soda. I got some water in a much bigger tub. Got my battery charger positive on my sacrificial metal negative, which I'm going to hook up to this old heat shield. This is from a uh, 22R engine, and these things always get rusty. So I've got some steel wire going through it, and I'm going to drop it in and see how it turns out. All right, and she goes. The first one's the best because the water's still kind of clean. All right, we are on manual 12 volt, two amp. All right, we're a couple hours in and I did change my sacrificial metal to a fresh piece because I just wasn't getting a lot of bubbles. And once I did that, I got a lot of bubbles again. You can see them coming up there in the shadow. So I guess you do need to change the metal once in a while. Even grinding it down didn't make a big difference. Here's the old one, just to give you an idea of how rusty it gets. And you can see where I tried grinding it down and it did start to get some new rust accumulating there, but it just wasn't doing the job that it did when I first started with a fresh piece of metal. Okay, time to see how she turned out. Most of the surface was restored, but the really heavy areas of rust are now dark and pitted. Electrolysis seems to work best on light to medium surface rust. Cast iron manifold from a uh, 22R. I think this one is a great test. All right, I let this go for like two days because it was so rusty and look how nasty that water looks now. So got it unplugged, pulled up here and see what we got. Well, there we go. After a lot of wire brushing, I kind of thought it would turn out looking a little bit better than this. Um, I might put it back in for longer, see what it does. Well, I've had this in here for a bit and no bubbles, nothing's happening. So maybe that's as far as that one can go. Um, I think I've got another opportunity here to do an experiment. What I'm gonna do is get this one half in, half out, and we'll get it before and after and see what kind of line we get. All right, I swapped them out. There's my rusty one and uh, we'll see what kind of results we get. Well, I don't know, I put new water in. I even ground down the uh, end of my manifold here with a wire wheel to get a clean surface to attach the negative to and I'm still not seeing any bubbles. So, I don't know, we'll let this go for a while and see if anything happens. Well, it's been 24 hours. Let's pull this out and take a look. The water's not that dirty, so... Well, there you go. It actually did make a big difference. You can see there's a strong line right there where it goes from rusty to black. So uh, we'll scrap this off and see how it turns out. And there's a perfect before and after. Even though I didn't see a lot of bubbles on that one, it definitely worked. All right, let's do one more. I got this old steel wheel. It's from a uh, old BMW. And I'm gonna put it in halfway and see how it turns out. I'll put a few more gallons of water in so now the level's up to about the halfway mark on the wheels. So we'll let this sit for a while and come check it out in a few hours. All right, it's been a day. Let's check it out. Um, did it work backwards? Okay, so you can see uh, this part was ex exposed to the electrolysis and this part was above the water. And I don't know what happened. Looks like it has somehow darkened, not sure why. Some of the rust has turned to the black finish here on the edge. But then, over here, and this was the side that was closest to my sacrificial metal. So a lot of times that side will get more treatment than the other side. I don't know what has happened here. Oh, look at that. I guess it's stripping the paint off too. 
No clue why, but uh, I guess I'll go with this since it's halfway done. On the inside of the wheel, you can see the bottom half is the half that was submerged. There's the line right there going across. And some of the rust has the black sort of uh, texture to it now, which I need to take off with a wire brush. Up here in the top is the untouched section. And even the inside of the wheel has some of this weird lifting going on with the paint. So, not sure what happened there, but uh, no turning back now. So here's a look at the wheel after I brushed it up with a wire brush and dried it off. The top half is a half that received the electrolysis treatment. And you can see all the rust that was around here is now the uh, black here. Here's a good before and after. This rust is actually underneath this paint. And when I was brushing it, the paint was just coming right off. So it did work pretty well. Same with all this around in here. Now it's pretty pitted. This is an Ohio wheel, so I'm sure it's seen a lot of salt over the years. And up here, the paint was completely stripped. I don't know why that happened. Or on the barrel of the wheel here, it's completely stripped all the way across. And here's the solid line from the other side. And look at that, before and after. That's a great before and after right there. In the next video, I'm going to show how to completely restore this vintage BMW wheel. Thanks for watching this electrolysis experiment. Do me a favor and hit that thumbs up if you found it helpful. And consider subscribing for more how-to videos and project vehicle updates here at the 6th Gear Garage.